So uh, this is a Yumi Roth's uh, piece. Um, it's called Stack Dotson. The most time consuming part about this was that all these pallets came disassembled. Uh, so it was kind of like putting together a huge puzzle. Um, they're all color coded. Each one has a little colored dot on the bottom and it's lettered and numbered. And then each, um, each uh, slat is a different thickness. So, and it came with different thicknesses of screws and you had to fit them into the existing holes. I'm standing in front of two works by Michael Theodore, um, and one on the left is scratch board, um, and the one on the right is pen and ink on paper. We place them in this area because of the other artworks that are going to be nearby. He's going to be placed in conversation with artworks by faculty um, who are working in different media, ceramics and drawing um, on paper. Yeah, Joel Swanson uh, uh, is the artist who made the Dingbats uh, project. So his his piece is 3D 3D printed images of the Dingbats font, and he wanted them displayed ideally on the wall, but didn't have a, a system of shelving to do it. So those were the shelves. Uh, those those pocket holes I was drilling. Um, I measured the depth of the shelf uh, plus the depth of the wall and set the depth of the drill press to make sure that the screw was going to be exactly into the wood and anchor solidly. The important thing about this exhibit is that it's faculty. So um, this one's really close to home, you know, so it's a little bit of special respect. Every artist in every show gets, um, you know, special treatment and special care, but these guys are our neighbors, you know, and we work with them every day. And it's very rare that we get to see what they're working on.